Hello, welcome back to Brandsu Shilam Noning. In this episode, I want to share with you the breakdown of this 3D artwork I created yesterday. So it's basically uh, made using geometry nodes, and at the moment it's looking like Kowloon Wall City, if you ever heard about this city. It's no longer there, but it's like a city with... It's really complicated and kind of like a mess up cities, but people actually live here, and I don't know, it's a very interesting story behind it um, yeah my setup is of course is so much simpler uh, basically it's just like a random pieces of just like a repetitive random pieces and I am able to do this simply by using one node there's one node that's responsible there's always that one node and if I dig inside this node groups that one node is mesh island okay mesh this is the one that's doing the job but it's kind of hidden and so I repeat um, so what's going on here it I think I started with a simple cube of some sort okay this is the cube and the cube has been subdivided um, so it's 12 by 12 by 12 and then first, I'm deleting the geometry using Voronoi texture. You can also use like a mask grave or any kind of texture, maybe noise texture based on this uh, color ramp. So it's separating a uh, box into pieces. And then after I delete that, and then so it's the box now have like separate parts. The next thing I did was to check the mesh, the mesh island. So we, we of course, after we are deleting some part of the box using Voronoi, we're going to end up with different plates or islands on the mesh. And then using the index, we can kind of uh, get which part you, you want from the, from the box itself. So this is inside the node group. So I can select the, I can basically select the plates or mesh island that I want to keep so currently I have I have one two three four five five different variants and then the next thing I did was simply to instance it on Suzanne or on the on the plane on the plane here so it might sound super complicated but it's not really it's really simple if I show you okay this is, I think, a better example. Here, I started with a simple cube, and then I subdivided the the mesh. Okay, and then I delete first. I delete the geometry using Voronoi. If I actually get rid of the rest of them, so this is what it looks after I use Voronoi just to delete some areas now we end up with uh, multiple plates right multiple islands you can see over here you can actually see how many islands uh, uh, we have at the moment we we apparently have 12 islands because I'm using this mass island nodes and the count the total the total count of the islands goes into the viewer node so under viewer node we can see we have 12 islands from that 12 islands we can specify how many how many we want to keep so so this is the island okay so we can keep all the islands or just we can separate the island or we can specify the exact the exact island that we want to keep in this case we need to use boolean math and just okay this is another just a different setup okay this is the just to specify which island to keep from this island um, so, if this is our 
separate islands. So from from our default cube, this has been separated by Voronoi. So imagine like a planet Earth, and we are only keeping the the islands of the planet, and we can see how many islands we have, and then we kind of uh, this is we are keeping only the, uh, one of the islands. All right. So from this, we can we can then just group all of them. Control G. Now we have this single node, and we can pick the island that we want to keep. We need to pipe this as well. Okay, now we can here. Yeah, we can selectively find the island that we want to keep, and then we simply instance it. It might sound like super complicated, but it's not. It's really quite simple. Okay, so to keep this sane okay one two three okay we, we are keeping three island for example and then I simply instance it okay uh, join geometry instance okay geometry to instance I suppose to use this geometry to instance so we have three different variants and then we use grid and then instance on points okay this is what's going on so we can pick the instance with random value Then I use solidify, okay, realize instance. Okay, so that's really what's going on with the setup over here. Just slightly more complicated here. If I reduce the number, if I, for example, just use this one so we have geometry coming in and then distribute points on faces let's oh, okay it has switch okay I'm basically I have this line and I have this grid so I might have made this slightly more complicated than it's supposed to be. Okay, now it's simpler. The count, okay, let's reduce the count. So we have only a couple. From this instance, uh, from these points, I turn it into real objects. And then it goes in into the points and then here I'm instancing the variants of this box this box that has been Voronoi delete geometry and then select be selected by the plates yeah which is a uh, I don't know how yeah it's uh, it's gonna end up like really complicated like what we have before but underneath is actually really simple so just instancing only five variants but just there are too many of them they are repeating actually if you look at it from the top view they're actually repeating itself but just like the this Kowloon city itself there is like some kind of 
format or demo uh, that's repeating so instead of having everything random there's a slight repetitions with the instance so it's looking kind of kind of like a it's actually looking better because it's repeating if we totally randomize it okay this is like randomizing in every directions with the rotate instances would be better if we just rotate it with uh, just 90 degrees at the moment it's just like chaos like a total total mess maybe this is what you want but anyway I I might just give you the the notes the node tree you can rebuild it yourself so the key is really mesh island okay you, you can separate a single geometry with different plates and then you can separate the islands using this kind of setup equal and not this is the boolean math and based on that selections we we can pick that islands and then instance it so there is a so at the moment I'm using this geometry to instance and multiple variants goes inside here in the future we might be able to simply just just use like a single loop to get a different variants maybe we want to have like 20 variants or 100 variants or just five we don't need to have multiple nodes like this for now it's just it works this way and the rest of them is just instancing rotate and scale so we have we end up with something like this all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye